There are so many amazing, I don't think anybody has better storylines than the association. Shout out to Adam Silver. Shout out to everyone that's doing stuff. Um, my favorite player, Top 5 Tatum, is playing right now. Shout out to Boston Celtics. Uh, my Bulls are in the playoff hunt. Shocking. Don't know how we did that. But um, we're going to discuss uh, pretenders and contenders for the NBA playoffs. Who do you guys uh, have as pretenders and contenders? I'm actually super excited to hear about your take on this one because uh, I really, to start the season, I automatically had Denver as a lock. Now I don't really feel that way. I don't I don't really feel like as a lock. Now, if they win it, I'm not gonna be shocked. Okay. But like a clear cut lock, I don't have Denver as the clear cut lock anymore. So hey, what do you guys think, man? Go in. Um uh, just read out some teams and we'll tell you if they're contenders or pretenders. I think we're having some No, no, bitch. I'm not gonna read out teams. Who do you like? We want you to read out teams, and then we're going to tell you if they're pretenders or contenders. As simple as that, Donald. We, we didn't discuss that in pre-production. Now no. you have us arguing in front of the family. You have us <laughs> arguing in front of the family. All right, all right, this Rudy. is ridiculous. I'm, we didn't I'm, discuss that. All right, Denver. Let's no, start no, no, with Denver. No, 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 Rudy. No, no, that's not, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. That's what we, that's what we, we talked about. That's what, we, talk, that's, that's what we talked about. That's what we talked about. I love about. that you guys discussed that, but you didn't discuss it with the executive Well, well you know that. We're going we're gonna to discuss. We're going to discuss. We're going to discuss. How do you guys feel about the Dallas Mavericks? Uh, pretenders. They're, Pretend, uh, pretenders. Go ahead. Pretenders. Uh, their defense, their liabilities, um, they, they won't be able to get stops. They will make a great, a great, they'll make for a great TV each series they play. It will be live. You'll get to see Kyrie dominate the ball. You get to see Luka dominate the ball. But at the end of the day, they don't have enough. Uh, their bench isn't deep enough. Uh, they're, they're just not enough. It, it, they, they won't be able to compete in a full series. Will they be able to, to, to take a, a team that you don't think they'll be able to beat and beat that team for one series? But I don't think they could do it three to four series to get to the championship or win a championship. No way. They can't sustain they're, They could they could have a series that they go 4-3 and they can have a series they get swept in. Defensively, they're terrible. And their their best player is an awful defensive player. Second best player is an awful defensive player. I, I don't see them getting out of the first round. But they do have the firepower to they can score to, all day. But yeah. they, can't, they can't defend anybody. So I don't see them. I don't even care who they play in the first round. They're not going to get out of the first round. Whoa. You don't care who they play? Don't care. They're going to okay. play as two or three seed. No, they're playing. They're at the five seed right now. Are they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're at five. They're well. They're, they're, they're at five. They're like a half game from six or eight at this be, point. Right now, they'll be playing the Clippers. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. The Clippers yeah. falling apart. Yeah. Okay. If they if they're at five seed, and they're playing the Clippers, then they can win that series. But they're actually tied with the Pelicans. They're a game up on the Kings and the Suns. They're literally a game from being the eight seed. So. We'll see in a week. Okay. But they're still a pretender. <laughs> pretender. I agree. All right. What about your beloved Miami Heat? Uh, the Miami Heat are, damn it. Lord have mercy. The they Heat are really... contenders. The Heat are contenders. And the Heat are contenders for one reason, Jimmy Butler. If Jimmy Butler turns it on like he's turned it on every single every single playoff, except for the one, we, and we've been here for what, four years with Jimmy now? The sweet. He's... He's turned the one year where we got swept, and actually we were winning that game and lost the buzzer, which I, I think, think the basically first game ended threw away the whole it, series. It changed the whole series. It, it, Jimmy Butler plays like Jimmy Butler can play because I think uh, uh what's his name? Uh, Josh Hart said that J Jimmy Butler's on some side missions and stuff right now, and now he's going to be focused on the real mission. It, he he changes. It's... You you see a guy who's basically coast through the regular season. I I think they're contenders. Do I think they're going to go to the finals? No, but. I think they're a legitimate contender. And I, that's a flawed statement because I've actually said in the past that you're not a contender if you can't go to the finals. So I lied. They can go to the finals. I don't think they will. That's okay. a, I have to fix what I said. Okay. I think they can, but I don't think they will. I think Boston's the best team in the East, and I don't think it's close. I think they can give Boston a hell of a run. The right break here and there. Maybe Jason Tatum's ankle turns to the left again. Um, you know, yeah. but I think, that they're, I think they're the only contender in the East. Besides Boston, wow! No, I'm 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 gonna agree with Rudy. They're contenders. Um, 
And I didn't believe that a week or two ago, but with the emergence of Terry Rozier lately, he's been balling, he's been hitting threes, he's been hitting seven, eight threes, coming back. He's been a consistent person that I think that Jimmy will be able to rely on for offense in the playoffs. As a second fiddle more than Bam, Bam just isn't as consistent in the playoffs. And we don't know how if that will ever change. He had he draws a lot of the best assignments on switches and things in that nature. So I would prefer for him to be the leader on defense and, and anchor that shit and let somebody else be that second fiddle offensively. Damn, I forgot about Tyler Hero on that team. Shit. Uh, yeah, I guess not. So uh, with Terry Rozier, maybe you get Hero back and he comes off the Everyone bench. Everyone forgot about Tyler Hero. If he, comes off, if he comes back and he comes off the bench, that changes the dynamics for the Miami Heat because he's Here, been way Hero, better. Hero's not off- playing anymore. Hero ain't playing this year. He's done. All right. Well, they're still contenders. Yeah. With Terry Rozier stepping up. Yeah, I, I think they match up well against everybody else in the East. Um, I think Boston will give them a tough time, but they can beat them. They've shown that before, even when Boston has the better team. Um, something about Jimmy and those guys just about playing Boston, they get up for that series. So, yeah, contenders. Uh, I'm going to throw you throw a doozy out there. Ready? Contenders. Lakers, they are contenders. Yep, I knew you were going there. Were, were you going to say that? I was, I was, I was gonna say Lakers. I was, <laughs> I was, I was. Nah, anything can happen. That will no, give them loses. Whoever loses, who loses out of seven and eight, and then that will give them more than likely Denver. But if Denver falls, the Lakers are contenders. No, I can't say it like that. Fuck it, damn. The Lakers are not contenders, man. They they have enough, but I just think that Denver is the runaway favorites out there in the West. I, it's not because of the fault of the Lakers. I just think the only only team out there is Denver, so that's why. They're pretenders. They suck. Let's stop this. They Move suck. On. How do they suck? They suck. They had a nice little hot streak now. They're pretenders. They, they they got the, I mean, God, they had a road trip right now where it's the easiest. I mean, my God, if you could have scripted a six-game road trip at the end of the season better than this one, they got, like, the six worst teams in the East on this road trip. Yeah. It's insane. Like, the Heat will go get a road trip, and it's the six best teams in the West. But they, the Lakers get a – I mean, it's almost like the NBA scripts it to give the Lakers the easiest chance at the end of the season to win games. But you know they play, and, the, you know they play the same team throughout, early in the year. It's just – Great. They're playing, they're, they're playing – I mean, look, you, you see who they're playing right but now. But everybody they're plays those teams. I know, but when you play them at certain times of a season – with with but, things on the like, line, if they were playing the Knicks, the Bucks, the Heat, the 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 Celtics, right now instead of the Wizards, the Raptors, the the Pacers, the Hawks, they, the Pacers, the Hornets, are and they lost that game. Yeah, you, you know, it, it, it's almost like a script for the Lakers. But I don't think they're beating anyone. I don't think they'll beat anybody in the first round of the playoffs if they beat the Warriors can, and then beat the loser of the Kings or the Suns to get to the eighth seed because the Nuggets will whoop their ass. Can I, can I say they're contenders if they beat anybody else besides Denver? I think they'll beat anybody else besides Denver. I don't think they beat anybody else besides and I'll bet you on that one too whenever it happens. Mm. But they won't make the playoffs because right, right. Steph is going to send his ass home. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, this is actually my favorite team to watch right now. <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves. They're uh, contenders. They're absolutely contenders. They're they're playing great. In fact, they're playing they're playing way better than I thought they'd play without Carl and Anthony Towns. They're they they kind of stumbled the first few games when he when he got hurt, but they're a half game out of the number one seed. And <clears throat> whether they get the one seed or not, I mean their 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 two seven matchup could be the Kings. It's a great matchup for them. The two the, or the three six with the Pelicans, great matchup. For, I, I I think they're absolutely contenders. I, I, I think we had this topic last week. If Anthony Edwards wins an NBA championship this year, Anthony Edwards is the face of the NBA. Yeah, he's the face of the league. So he has they the most. So he has the most to benefit the, from winning oh a championship. God, he's twenty three years old. No, I said, well again no. He, the topic was who benefits the most, and I still think Jason Tatum benefits the most because he's a fucking Boston hero if he wins this year. But and it changes his everyone's opinion of him. Anthony Edwards is a uh, outside of the outside of the skills competition, he's a yeah. dog. Yeah. And I I mean he's played exceptionally well. 
And I, I, I think I want it. I hope Towns gets back. I want to see them at full strength. But it's pretty fucking remarkable what they're doing there. Yeah, they, they, they would need Towns for, for <clears throat> healthy for me to put them in the contender realm. I know they've been playing nice and good, nice and well without without him, without him, because they their defense travel, their defense go everywhere. Wherever they go, on the road, home game, their defense is there. So one thing when you can rely on your defense, you're always in it. You always give yourself a chance. So that puts them in the contender atmosphere. But if Carl Anthony Townsend isn't there, I don't think they just have enough firepower to to, to sustain a, a playoff series when it gets when it gets like serious when defenses are locked in on you they get more time to game plan scheme you and knock you out of things that you love to do so they need Carl Anthony Towns he stretches the floor he can shoot the ball I know he has to have great playoffs but now that he's not the man usually every other time he's the man in the playoffs he could be like second fiddle to AE and 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 he could probably thrive in that in that role better so if he's back healthy contenders to leave with the last team and it's going to be a little bit controversial. And I'm, I'm ex- expecting you guys to have a lot to say. The Los Angeles Clippers. Pretenders or contenders? Uh, you mean Rudy T that could win a championship a month ago? <laughs> yeah, a, mu- a month ago. Yeah. Was it, a mu- it was a month and a- it was a month ago or was it a month and a half ago? No, maybe, I mean, maybe a month and a half ago. Yeah, but no, I know they're, I can't. They're, 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 they're toast. They're toast. <laughs> They're toast. Their own coach called them soft last week. Maybe that was to inspire them, but yeah, this is not the same team that I talked about six weeks ago when they had gone like twenty five and five over thirty. Like this is they have completely fallen apapart. Um, yeah, they're 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 they're, they're pretenders. That's, they're yeah. not gonna get the they're not gonna get the first round. Yeah, they're definitely pretenders. Um, it starts with um. Their point guard, you know, and I trust him as much as I trust him in a Houston strip club, and that's not very much. Um, they're Paul George and him is just a bad combination of people I w- I would trust. I like told y'all before, they are not playoff players that in prime time when I need them to make big buckets, um, or just carry the team or just be somebody as an outlet for Kawhi that I'm going to rely on. They've been playing soft. They haven't been getting things done. And they're one of the deepest teams in the league. So it's not about talent. They just can't put it together. They just don't mesh completely well together or they just don't have the dog in them. Some people have the dog in them and they just kind of meow their way around. So uh, <laughs> those are team, people I'm not going to, I'm not putting any trust in those guys to be contenders. They, they fell off. Ty Lue tried to work his magic. He's trying to light a fire under them. But you can't light a fire under something that has no fuel. Unless it's the Stone Age. You're scrubbing wood to make it. No way, Jose. No way. Agreed. Milwaukee okay. Bucks. No, yeah, that was the last one. The Clippers were the last one, he said. Okay. <laughs> that was the last one. But since you want to bring it up, Milwaukee Bucks, what do you think? Contenders. You know why they're contenders? Because they have two of the top 12 players in the league. Another team that have two of the top 12 players in the league, they're always going to have a chance. They have a chance to play. And we don't – and you know why? Because we don't trust in, in Tatum. As much as we – as much as you trust Tatum? Against Milwaukee? Yeah. But oh, but not against Miami. Or against in Milwaukee? Period. Yeah. No, we don't tr- – don't... Against Miami? Not as much. Tatum still has a lot to prove. And we... I, I think against Miami, the guy that's our kryptonite is Jalen Brown. Of course. He's always been when our he, When he balls, it's over. we lose. It's over every freaking time. Because Tatum's numbers are basically the same almost all the time. 25. He never – he's had one big game against us like in his entire career. He's usually like 5 for 18 too. Some yeah, and his shooting – he's never, he's never going like, six, to like 12 for 18. He's going like – Eight for eighteen or seven for eighteen. But Jalen so, Brown, yeah, Brown is the guy that always scares the crap. I mean, I already said that before. I think Brown is their best player, but you know, uh, I go ahead. I, it, against Milwaukee, it, no, I don't. I don't have any fear for him against Milwaukee, but against Miami, yeah, I, I still got to go with two of the. You know, Giannis is the top <laughs> three player in the league. Dame is still around 12, 13, 14 ish, um, and Dame ha- he's had he hasn't had his best year. 
but he's still dang. He still can hit the big shots. He still can hit the big threes. He still can get his shots, you know, pretty well. 25 a game, shooting, you know, his lowest percentage from three. But we're still, you know, you're still worried about him. He come across half court line. You're still worried about him. Um, and they have a well team. Middleton has to step up and be that guy again. Porter, Portis is, is always big, energy guy. And I think the difference between them now, they can play him more than Brooke Lopez when they need play against teams that, you know, run that pick and roll and Brooke does that, you know, that drop that they usually do when they get hurt on sometimes. So uh, they're definitely contenders, man. They still got the firepower, enough firepower to, to win series. Will they be able to find enough defensively? That will be the thing that we need to see. They haven't been so bad after the All-Star break. They're like 12-6, and six, but they have some bad losses. Yeah, they're like 12-6. and six. Yeah, after the All-Star break. No. 12-7? and seven. No. no. Remember, they went on a big Bro, win streak. They, they, he, he got hired at the break. No. Right, right before the break. Right before the break. They're I said seven, after the All-Star break. Well, they're 17-15 and 15 since he became the head coach. Yeah, but after the All-Star break, they're like 12-6. and six. Uh, I watched them lose two games to the Lakers <laughs> with the lead in both they in the al- last minute of the game. They always lose to the Lakers. I don't know. Something I, about I, I watched them lose both. They're they're hell. They're th- one in three. One in three in their last four. Three and three. Four and four. Five and five. Six and six. Yeah. Seven and seven. They're seven and seven in the last fourteen. So they're twelve. So they're twelve and seven. And before that, they had won six straight. Yeah. So that would make them thirteen and seven. Yeah. Something like that. Um. But, yeah, I think they're pretenders. Uh, Dame is not the same guy that he was in Portland. I think this is somewhat similar to the situation you had in Miami when (laughs) neither guy wanted to decide who the guy really was in that first year. I just don't think there will be a second year because I think the guy is absolutely fucking miserable. (laughs) And he's voiced it. And I think misery and and, and I think how you feel emotionally with this generation of athlete, this generation of athlete, is like their emotions at home affect how they play basketball, which to me is absolutely ridiculous, but it does with these guys. And you've heard him complain multiple times this year. He's having the worst shooting season of his career, 42.6%. He's shooting under 36% from three. He's not that guy this year. He's averaging 20 24.4. I expected his points per game to go down, yeah. but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect that almost fall. It's almost falling off a cliff. No, no. The thing, the thing about it is, we thought his shoot, we thought his shooting percentage would have been a lot higher this year. Exactly, and wide open, he, right? He should be, you know, with free. But I, he is forty-eight. He's just missing. I'm thinking forty-eight percent from the field. You know, a career high in that percent in that wise, and I think like forty-one from three point would be, you know, a good thing <laughs> for him because I think he should be getting better looks playing with free. Because it's either you're gonna play hard on free or you're gonna play. You can't do both. Like the looks are there, the looks are there though. So that's why I'm kind of I'm kind of you know, but he's been playing better. He's, he's, he's been shooting better. Forty two point six percent is forty two point six percent, and if he was shooting forty eight percent, he'd be averaging twenty nine a game or thirty a game. Yeah, he's shooting like shit this year. It, there's something not right with him, and I don't believe they have Middleton is a shell of what he was. Yeah. Even 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 Lopez has not, not been. That's why I said. That's why I said he's been in the that's past. That's why I said like, BP has to be that guy who steps up and I love BP. I, I want to be. I want He's a dirty dog player. He's not a guy that you got. To, you're going to expect to be a twenty point game. No, guy. I'm, but he'll give you fifteen and twelve easily. He doesn't. What he doesn't? He averages thirteen and seven. But but he has nights. Now he's gonna be fifteen and twelve. No, I'm saying he has nights where he does fifteen and twelve pretty easily. Rudy, you don't have the ability to have nights. You need to have it to be a consistent no, basis in the playoffs. I, I need him to be the third or fourth player. I don't need him to have be that great all the time. I need occasionally to him pop out and have a twenty if they, play, if they if they play the Heat in the first round, they're going home in the first round. I would hope so. I would hope. I don't so. hope so. I have no doubt. I don't think the I, I I would have zero doubt. Well, we we probably won't play them. Last year I had doubt. This year I have no doubt that if we I'd like to not play them in the first round because I like someone else to beat them first and get an easier matchup. Give me Cleveland, but Cleveland or New York. Give me, Cle- give me Cleveland or the Knicks. Yeah, I, I'll take the Cleveland Knicks all day. Yeah, are the Knicks? All right, well I'm sorry. No, we're done. We, yeah, go we're ahead. done. We got babies in the background <laughs> crying. I don't know what's going on. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast 
and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.